What? Oh, good afternoon, Thomas. I uh, haven't seen you in a, a day or two, so I brought you the paper. I can get my own. Well, I thought I'd save you the hassle. Everything okay? Mind your own, Dot. I'm not in the mood for gossip today. I have to go. So you've heard about it then? About what? Oh, I thought that you... that was... Um, oh, spit um, it out, woman. I've not got all day. Little Chloe Davis, Joan's granddaughter. She's missing. Taken. Only ten, bless her. The whole village is devastated. It's like... Oh, I have to go. Oh, wait. You do know you can talk to me, don't you? And what makes you think I want that? We're friends, Thomas. And I know that you're hurting. You don't need to be an expert to see that. No, we're not. And I'm fine. We have known each other over 40 years. Of course we're friends. I suppose forcing yourself onto people and trying to pry into their affairs is part of this friendship. Oh, I was only trying to... Trying to stick your big nose where it's not wanted. Well, you can take your paper, all your gossip and everything else you've got and shove it right up your back. Thomas Richards! You are one bitter nasty old man and you wouldn't see a kind gesture if it bit you on the backside and quite honest i am neither surprised nor shocked that genie left you if this is how you treated her uh -huh. <laughs> Sweet girls. I'm so sorry I wasn't a better father and husband. Judy, you do it 
stood in here, a weighty aloft. God, let me be. What's that? been taken from my mum. Don't worry. Chloe, I will find you. Be a good girl, Trudy. Take this note back to where you got it from. Still within a ten mile radius. She's close. Good girl, good girl. I'm just hearing glass clinking. Do you know who took you? Trudy, what, what's wrong? What, what, what's happened to her? Thomas, I feel awful about earlier and those things I said about Jeannie. You know I didn't mean no. Shh. In the world, I came here to apologize. Do you to hear it? Glass. Clinking glass. I'll be right back. I think you've gone mad. Was that Andy the milkman? Yes. Are you going to sit there all night or are you going to come in and help me? I have a hundred questions. We'd better get started then, aren't we? Come here. Peace offering? Will you help me? What is all this about and what are we doing with the milk float? Chloe said she heard glass clinking. I didn't understand what she meant until I heard it just now. What are you talking about? Come in, I'll show you. This is a five to ten mile radius. That's where Trudy's been flying. Now add the milk float route in, somewhere in that area. Do I have a description of who took her? This is all I have. Then the messages stopped coming. Something's happened to her or she'd have replied back. If he thinks she's been talking to someone... No, Thomas, don't be thinking the worst just yet. Now let me look. Okay. Well, th there's only two it could be. I can't five. No, Chloe says brick, and there's only two properties in that area that have brick outbuildings, the Browns and the McElroys, and they're on their holidays. Chloe? Chloe?
Too late. The bastards killed her. It's happened again. And I let it happen. You need to call the police. It's time. Chloe! Do that again! I'm so glad you got my note. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. So 40 years, eh? That's some friendship. <laughs> 